I'm recording us from my new place, which I'm super excited about. We're going to continue today focusing on the theme of hips this month, working on hip mobility. We're going to add in a little bit of a balancing element. We'll meet on the mat. Feel free if you need a block or a pillow, keep it nearby. We're going to get started today laying down in Shavasana. So if you brought a coffee or tea with you, feel free to take a sip. Find your way down to Shavasana. Maybe take a few rocks side to side. Otherwise, come down completely, extend, take up space, and soften down your eyes. Take a moment to be here to feel super grounded. Start to soften down your eyes and start to let go. So whatever happened prior to stepping on your mat today, um, whether it was earlier in your week, things, anything that's pulling you back into the past, see if you can release that. And then anything that might be pulling your attention forward into the future, excitement, anxieties, anything that sort of keeps you from being present here now, make a conscious decision that it'll be there for you when you're ready and choose to turn inward, focusing in on your body and your breath for the next 60 minutes. Gently bring one hand to your belly and one hand to your ribs and just start to notice the shape of your breath as you breathe through the torso. Without changing or manipulating anything, be here with the breath. I want you to take an exhale, press everything out. Then inhale, breathe in through your belly, ribs, chest all the way to the top and hold here for four, three, two, on one exhale, press it out, empty all the way down. Pause at the bottom. We begin again, inhale, breathe in, fill up belly, ribs, chest, expand the breath, hold at the top here for four, three, two, one, exhale, press it out, emptying all the way down. Pause, one more time, inhale, breathe in, belly, ribs, chest, expand the breath, hold at the top here for four, three, two, on one, exhale, press it out, let it go. This time, seal your lips, breathe in through your nose, fill up same cadence, belly, ribs, chest, big breath here, hold at the top. Here for four, three, two, on one, exhale it out, emptying all the way down. You're welcome to use this nasal breathing throughout class. It helps to oxygenate the blood better, more efficiently helps to build heat in the body. We'll start to integrate some movement here. Start to hug your right knee up and outside of the shoulder. Grab for just below the knee the, towards the shin and we'll start with wind removing pose. Start to bring some movements here into the right hip, maybe through the ankle as well. Treating the beginning of your practice as an opportunity to check in with yourself, to be really honest about where you are and to use that information in a helpful and neutral way. So not being hard on yourself, not assigning value if you feel like you don't do something to the fullness of your ability or um, getting frustrated if there's any sort of like stopping points. Just allow that information to help you guide where you want your practice to go today. Pause here, hug your knee up and outside the shoulder. Keep your left hand on the right shin, extend the right hand out to the side, take an inhale. On your exhale, gentle supine twist to guide the right knee over towards the left. Allow your right shoulder to hang heavy. There may be space between your knee and the ground. That's totally okay. Take an inhale here, fill up through the torso. Exhale to twist through the upper body. One more breath like that. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, twist. On your next inhale, gently guide the right knee back over. Give it a squeeze. And then I want you to walk your fingertips behind the right hamstring. You can bend through the left leg if your left hamstring is tight. And then we'll start to extend through the right foot. On your inhale, I want you to think about lengthening from your right hip all the way through your heel as much as you can. On your exhale, toes hug in towards the face. Activate through the front of the leg. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, activate. One more breath like that. Inhale, lengthen. Then in the heel as high as you can go. Exhale, toes hug in. Start to point through the, the right foot. Maybe bring some circles in towards the ankle, keeping the front of the leg really active. 
and then hug the right heel in, give the right knee a squeeze up and outside of the ribs. An option here, you can grab for your big toes your, with your peace fingers and option for a half happy baby, hugging the right knee out towards the side, flexing through your foot. Maybe you bend and straighten through the right leg here for three, two, on one, close it down, heel comes in, hug the right knee in towards center and we'll extend through the right leg. Feeling really long through the right side body, we're gonna hug the left knee up and outside of the shoulder and begin with those same movements here through the hip socket. Again, using the start to your practice as an opportunity to go slowly. So I think there's a tendency sometimes, especially if you practice a lot to step onto the mat and want to full send it right away. But we have this integration to give yourself time to wake up. Pause here. Bring your right hand to the left shin. Left hand comes outside. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, gentle supine twist. Guide the left knee over towards the right. I want you to take a big inhale into the torso. On your exhale, soften through the back of the left shoulder. Inhale to fill up. Exhale, soften and twist. Gently start to guide the left knee back over, up and outside the ribs. And then walk your fingertips behind the left hamstring. Start to extend through the left heel. And then press the soft spot of your left knee forward. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, toes hug in. One more breath like that. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, toes hug in. Start to hug the left knee, left heel back in. Actually, we're going to take some circles through the foot. So pointing and going in both directions, staying really active through the front of the leg. Then hug your heel in. Hug the left knee out to the side. Option to take that half happy baby here, grabbing for your big toe with your peace fingers. Maybe you stay in another wind removing pose if this doesn't feel good. Breathing here, maybe bringing some movement in here. We are here for three, two, on one. Start to bring everything back towards center. Send your left leg long. Take a big overhead stretch. Inhale here. Grab your left hand for your right wrist. Take an inhale. Exhale, gentle side bend towards the left. Inhale back to center. Right hand grabs her left wrist. Exhale, gentle side bend towards the right. Hug your knees in towards your chest, pressing your lower back into the mat. I want you to bring your attention to, as you parallel your center of the mat, knees stack over your hips. Bring your attention to your lower core. Tuck your tailbone under. Hands are going to come behind the head. And we'll focus on the lower tailbone, taking really small lifts to bring the tailbone up off the ground. So in the video, hopefully, as you watch this, it's a very micro movement from me, but I want you to focus on hugging your tailbone under, tucking your bottom ribs under, and activating through the pelvic floor. We breathe here for eight, taking these little pulses for seven, six, five, four, three, two. On one, hands come behind the head. Take an inhale, start to pull your shoulder blades up off the ground. Exhale, twist, driving right elbow to left thigh. Inhale, left center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. You can pick this up here a little bit if you want. Continue to pull your shoulder blades up off the ground. Activate and extend through your opposite leg. Focus on as you twist, pulling the bottom rib towards the opposite side. Five, we breathe here. We're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Take three big rocks and we'll come up to a comfortable seated position on the mat. I want you to sit tall. I always ambitiously wear sweatshirts and long sleeves and then core just gets me. Feel free to take off a layer if you need it. And then we're going to sit really tall. I want you to bring your fingertips behind you 
active through the chest, spread the collarbones, look at your feet. I want your heels to be on the mat, toes to be off or really wide through the hips. Maybe your feet are even wider off the mat. Take an inhale here on your exhale, twist your hips towards the left and our feet will land. We're looking for a 90 degree bend in each knee, setting up for 90, 90. I want you to sit tall, stacking shoulders over hips, grounding through your left hand, inhale, activate through your glutes, press your hips forward, open up through the right side body. Take a big inhale here, exhale, lower down. Two more times like that. Inhale, press the hips up. Exhale, lower down. One more time. Inhale to open. Exhale, lower. Pause here. Turn your torso back towards the top of your mat. Knees are going to follow. You can use hands for support. We're going to drop the knees over towards the right side of the mat. Finding that 90, 90 degree bend, you might want to move your right heel a little bit further from the left knee. Grounding through the right hand, inhale, hips press high, open up, exhale, lower down. Two more like that, inhale, hips press forward, activating through the glute, reaching the left thumb back in space, exhale, lower down. One more time, inhale, open, exhale, lower. Knees come back towards center. Using your hands, we're gently going to drop the knees side to side. Option here. A little bit of a graduating from the hand support. If you want your hands out in front, feel free to go there. Breathing here for four, three. You might find yourself walking a little bit forward on your mat as your glutes move forward. Last round, pull your heels in. Then I want you to walk your heels back and towards your hips and grab for behind your hamstring. Sit really tall, lengthen through the collarbones, really proud through the chest. From here, getting a little bit of traction as you grab under, float one foot, and then the other coming to your supported boat pose. Hands can come for behind the hamstring. Option to reach them forward. Option to extend through the legs wherever you are. If you find your back kind of bowing out like this, pull it back up, bend through the legs, find that extension. Take an inhale here. Exhale, lower low boat, extend through the legs, tucking the tailbone, looking towards the toes. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, rise. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, rise. Again, feel free to speed this up or slow it down. We're going to breathe here together for eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, on one, heels tuck in, roll over your shins, come to tabletop position on the mat. Spread your fingertips wide, think starfish fingers grip the mat, and we'll start to move here, tracing circles around the outside edges of your palms. As you allow that to be the basis for movement, your hips are going to follow, taking some big circles around the mat. Allow your head and neck to hang heavy, and then reverse directions, hips pulling in the opposite direction. And then I want you to come to stillness. Turn your fingertips out to 10 and three o'clock. So they will look like this on the mat. Thumbs face forward. And we'll continue those same circles. It's going to be a smaller range of motion. We spend like, I don't know, 99% of our day walking around on our feet. We spend no time doing this on our hands unless you're extremely uh, like an acrobat or super exceptional. So we're trying to get into the wrist. Vinyasa has a lot of weight in the wrist. Then I want you to come to stillness, turn the soft spots of your wrists forward. So breathe into the base of the palm. I want you to look at your thumbs, point them out to three and nine o'clock and same micro movements here. Just side to side, maybe tracing around the full outside edges of the palm. The moment you feel the base of your palm start to pull off, press it back down, make it smaller. Come to stillness, take an inhale here. On your exhale, I want you to press further into the base of the palm, activate through the shoulder. So press them up towards the ceiling. On your next inhale, cow pose with your wrists open to the front of your mat. Pull your heart through to your shoulder blades together. Tailbone comes up. Big inhale. Exhale, activate through the shoulders. Press back, cat pose. Find protraction here. Tuck the tailbone. We'll flow this inhale, cow pose, ripple forward. Exhale, press back for cat. 
One more time. Inhale, cow pose. Open your heart. Exhale, press back for cat. Inhale to come to a neutral tabletop. Untuck the hands and we'll take some wrist taps, just bringing your fingers to your wrists to decompress a little bit. Sit back to your heels, tuck your toes and rise to stack shoulders over your hips. Reach your fingertips overhead and start to take some star, uh, I don't know, firework fingers. Any of a better game for this. So if you have one, feel free to let me know. Reaching fingertips up, expanding and opening the hands. We breathe here for 20, 19, 18, 17, tucking the tailbone, bottom rims down here for 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, activating through the hands, reaching up through here for six, five, four, three, two, on one. Feel free to untuck the toes or keep them. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, cactus the arms, baby back bench. Inhale, hands full to heart center. Exhale, breathe it out. Inhale, fingertips sweep up high towards the ceiling. Exhale, cactus the arms, open the chest. Inhale, hands full to heart center. Exhale, release. One more time, and then we'll set our intention for cross. Inhale, fingertips sweep high towards the ceiling. Exhale, open the chest. Inhale, hands come towards center. Exhale, send your breath out. Feel free to soften down your eyes here. If you came to class with an attention, you're always welcome to use that. If you're looking for something today, I'll offer you the intention of tapas. Tapas in Sanskrit means heat, and it has to do a lot with discipline. Oftentimes in life, when we are in that place of tapas, we are moving with heat, moving with passion. Um, we're able to find our flow state. So I want you to think of something right now. It could be something or someone that really brings you that sense of timelessness, that sense of flow state, that joy, that burning passion. Um, and I want you to dedicate your practice to that practice or that person. So take an exhale here to create space. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, let it go. Beautiful. Roll over. Come back to tabletop position, and we're going to start to move through the hips. I want you to extend the left leg out to the side. So it will look like this from the front. Left leg is out to the side. And we'll start to take some rocks here back and forth, tucking the right toes. And I want you to drive this, pressing through the outside edge of your left foot, drive it through the hips options here maybe you stay rocking maybe your hips sink back you take a half child's pose driving your hips towards the back of mat reaching your fingertips forward wherever you are take a big inhale exhale let it go one more breath like that inhale fill up exhale send it out start to rock back over your hands circle sweep the left leg behind you we're going to bring the left knee behind the right Knee, walk your fingertips out to about 10 o'clock. Take an inhale, fill up. Exhale, press your hips back. Eagle leg puppy pose. One more inhale like that, fill up. Exhale, hips press back. Walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Untuck the left leg, send it long, and we'll switch out the legs. This time the right leg comes out to the side. And we start to see those same rocking motions through the right leg. Option to stay here. Option to sink all the way back to have that half child's pose. Fingertips reach forward. Take an inhale. Exhale, chin hugs in towards your chest. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hips press back. Start to rise up. Circle, sweep the right leg behind. Right knee comes behind the left. Pull your hips back. Reach your fingertips out to about two o'clock. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, hips draw back in space. One more breath like that. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hips press back. Start to walk your hands back towards center. Circle, sweep that right leg around. And then we'll come back. So we're going to flow one more time. This time, left leg sleep, sweeps out to the side. We're going to pause here. Circle, sweep the left leg around just for a moment. Pull your hips back. Then press them forward. We're going to sweep the left leg out to the side and continue that motion all the way around to the top of your mat. So we're in a half split, hands on the inside of your left foot. Inhale to lengthen here through the spine. Think about untucking your tailbone, sitting out behind you. Exhale, fold down. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold. This time, start to bend through your left knee. Walk your fingertips forward, coming to a lizard lunge. Option to stay in this low lunge. 
maybe you walk your fingertips slightly forward to open the chest, hug your left hip back, right hip forward, and then start to lengthen your left hand towards the front of the room. Take an inhale here on your exhale, sweep your left hand up towards the ceiling, low lunge twist. Option to tuck your back toes here to intensify it a little bit. Wherever you are, hug your right hip forward, left hip back. Breathing here for four, shoulder blades squeeze together here for three, two, on one, option to roll to the outside edge of your feet, taking a high horizon lunge. If you're here, right hip hugs under your left, feet are pointing towards nine o'clock on your mat towards the left side, we're here for three, two, on one, option to stay here, or maybe you hug your knee in towards your chest, coming to Vashisthasana side plank. Option to stagger the feet, option to stack them. Maybe you float, maybe you take a tree pose wherever you are. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, send your chest through. Maybe your gaze sweeps up towards the ceiling. We breathe here for four, three, two, on one, downward facing dog, however you want to get there. First downward facing dog of class. I know we're on a little uneven. We're going to flow through that sequence on the other side, but feel free to take some bends. Coming up into the balls of your feet, swaying your hips side to side. Inhale, ripple forward. Pause here. I'm going to put my hair up after we're done with this. Pause here. Hug your belly button in towards your spine. Option to drop to your knees. Always hinge forward. Exhale, lower chaturanga and hold here. 90 degree angle on the elbows. We're here for three, two, on one. Press back up. Take an inhale. Two more like that. Exhale, lower down. We hold for three, two. On one, inhale, press back up. Exhale, lower down. We're here for three, two, on one. This time, inhale. Baby cobra, our upward facing dog. If you're in upward facing dog, check in. We want four points of contact. So tops of the feet, the hands, shoulders pull back and down your spine. Active through the glutes, floating the thighs. Inhale here. Exhale, press back downward facing dog. Inhale to fill up. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, ripple forward. Come back to your tabletop position. Quick flow on this side. Right foot sweeps out to the side. Take an inhale. Exhale, circle, sweep it around behind the left leg. Walk your fingertips out to two o'clock. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, hips pull back. Inhale, hands come back towards center. Right leg sweeps around and all the way to the front of the mat to come to your half split. Hug the right hip back, left hip forward. Inhale to lengthen through the spine, send the tailbone back behind you. Exhale, fold. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, fold. Start to bend into the right knee. Walk your fingertips forward, coming to your low lizard. Hug your right hip back, left hip forward, and then start to extend through the right arm. On your next inhale, right arm sits up towards the ceiling and breathe here. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, hugging your right shoulder back and down your spine. Maybe you tuck the left toes. Maybe you stay here, breathing here, tucking the left hip under here for four. Shoulder blades squeeze together for three, two, on one. Option to quarter turn towards the right. Roll to the outside edges of your feet. Squeeze your inner thighs together for horizon lunge, high horizon. Left hip hun hugs underneath your right and towards the top right corner of your mat. Your right hip is going to hug back towards the back left corner thighs. Scissor, scissor together here for four, three. Two on one option to stay here or make your way into a side plank option to stagger, stack, or float your top leg. We breathe here for four, three, two on one. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, come up onto your toes, ripple forward, high plank. This time, exhale, lower chaturanga, knees or toes. Inhale, baby cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Take an inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, look to the top of the mat. Start to come up onto the balls of your feet and walk your feet forward. Wide-legged forward fold at the top of the mat. Allow your head and neck to hang heavy. Tuck the chin in towards your chest. And then I want you to grab for opposite elbows. Create a generous bend in the knees and we'll start to sway here side to side. Allowing everything, whatever tension you're holding on to in your jaw to kind of fall off and down towards the ground. Then walk your hands out in front of you and they can come to a block if you'd like. We're going to start to take some circles around on the feet just like we did on the hand. So I want you to think about tracing the outside edges of your feet. So you're going to come up onto your heels, press your hips back, 
roll to the outside edges of your right foot and the inside of your left turn come up onto the toes we're going in a counterclockwise direction first so take one more round here tracing around and then we'll reverse that going to the outside of the left foot inside of right onto the toes onto the outside of the right and pull it back one more round like that exhale pausing at the back from here Start to walk your heels underneath of your hips, tucking the tailbone, inhale, slowly roll up, come to stand. When you arrive standing, mountain pose, inhale, fingertips, circle sweep up towards the ceiling. Ardva Hastasana, hands come to feet. Pausing here, pressing the hips forward, opening through the chest. I want you to bring your weight into your left leg and float the right leg forward, not dramatically. We're gonna step the right foot behind the left, Inhale, side bend towards the left. So this will look like this from the front, pressing your right hip over, reaching over the right side body, lengthening through the right side body, through the rib cage. Take an inhale here. On your exhale, we come back towards center fingertips, sweep high, weight comes into the right foot. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, side bend towards the right. Inhale, left arm sweeps high. Exhale, right hand chases towards the ground. One more inhale here, maybe look over the left shoulder. Exhale, we come back to center. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, swan dive forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, high plank. Always an option to skip your chaturangas. Otherwise, inhale, hinge forward. Option add zero to five push-ups here. We breathe here for five, four, three, two. On one, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Take an inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Come up onto your toes, look towards the top of your mat. Step, hop, or jump to bring your feet to meet your hands forward, fold. Let's flow this. Inhale, halfway lift, draw the crown of your head forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, fingertips sweep high towards the ceiling, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, right foot steps behind the left. Inhale, right hand flows high. Exhale, meet back towards center. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, side bend towards the left. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, swan dive forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, high plank. Inhale to hinge forward. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. When you get to downward facing dog, take an inhale here. Exhale, let it go. One more breath like that. Inhale. Exhale, send it out. Look to the top of your mat. Bend your knees and then stop, step or hop your feet to meet your hands. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, right foot steps over. Inhale, side bend towards the left. Exhale, meet back. Inhale, rise high. Exhale, side bend towards the left. Left hand flows up in space. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, swan dive forward, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back. If you're hopping back, I want you to land with bent elbows. Shoot your chin forward wherever you are. Inhale, exhale, step or hop back. Inhale, baby cobra, or upward facing dog. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. So you can inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, ripple forward, high plank, hold. Press your heels towards the back of the room. Activate through the quads. Pull them up and in crown of your head. Drive forward. Maybe take a few rocks side to side. Breathing here. We're here for four, three, two. On one, lower down to your knees. We're going to take a side plank, a supported side plank towards the left. So grounding through your right hand, left arm sweeps up towards the ceiling. Then I want you to turn to the outside edge of your left foot. Right shin is perpendicular with the mat. Pausing here in your supported side plank, start to come up onto your right fingertips. Option to stay here. If you want to come with me, you're going to gate pose, start to float up through the right hand. We float up to your gate pose in four, three, two, on one. Inhale, right hand floats high. 
exhale, bend towards the back of your mat. Inhale to open the chest. Exhale, bend a little bit deeper. Inhale, float it forward. Come back to your modified side plank. Some options here. Options to take a half moon variation, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Maybe you even kick the left heel back. Option to grab for a bind or option to just focus on narrowing the gap between your left heel and your left glute. We breathe wherever you are. We're here for four, three, two, on one. Gently release it if you have it. Coming to your modified side plank, option to float the right leg. We're going to hold it out, taking a floating triangle, or you can thread it through to your ball and triangle here for four, three, two, on one. Left hand finds the mat. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Come up onto the toes, ripple forward, high plank. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Ripple forward, high plank, knees lower to the mat. Grounding through the left hand, inhale, right arm sweeps high. Start to turn your hips open towards the right. Ground through the outside edge of your right foot. Position your left shin so it's perpendicular with the mat. Reach your right hand over and space. Find that line to the outside of your right foot all the way through the right side body. Start to activate through the core, tent up onto your left fingertips with your eyes to gate pose in four. Three, two, on one, inhale, left arm floats high. Exhale, right hand slides down the leg. Activate through the back of the left shoulder, squeeze it back and down your spine. Maybe your gaze shifts high. One more inhale here. Exhale, reach back. Inhale, circle sweep the left arm down. Right arm floats up high towards the ceiling. Activate half, 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 half moon. Sure, we're here. We're here. We're in a supported supported half moon option to stay here maybe you kick your right heel in towards your glute squeezing activating opening through the front of the right hip maybe you reach for a bind breathing here for four three two on one gently release the bind if you have it ground through the outside of your right foot option two here Option to send your left foot through to come to fall and triangle or float your left leg. We're here for four. Leaning back, trust your yourself to hold you up. We're here for three, two, on one. Right hand finds the mat. Inhale, left foot floats high. Hinge forward, high plank, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, press back downward facing dog. Moving on, come up onto your toes. Look forward. On a slow count of five, bring your feet to meet your hands. This means you can take baby steps on your toes. You can practice your handstand hops. We meet there in five, four, three, two. On one, feet meet your hands. Forward fold. Big toes come to touch. Inhale, chair pose. Hips sink low. Fingertips sweep high. Chair pose. <clears throat> take a moment here. If your hips are tight, you can walk your feet out a little bit wider. It does not matter. Sink your hips low, reach your fingertips forward. I want you to think about driving your hip creases towards the back of the mat. At the same time, tucking the tailbone under, pulling your rib ribs away from your upper thighs. Take a moment here. Take an inhale to lengthen. Exhale, sink. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, sink a little bit lower. Inhale to lengthen, grounding through the left foot. Fingertips reach back. Equal weight in both feet. Look down towards your left foot. When you're ready, inhale, one-legged mountain. Right knee drives towards the ceiling. Press your hips forward. Press to the inside of your left foot. Find something unmoving maybe on the wall in front of you. Inhale to lengthen here. Exhale, sink low, standing figure four. Guide your right ankle to the top of the left thigh and then sink into it. On your inhales, as you come back to your rest, focus on lifting your shoulders over your hips. Exhales to sink lower into your left heel. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, sink. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sink. On your inhale, driving the right knee towards the ceiling. Option to extend through the right leg. Follow my lead. We're going to sweep the right foot around all the way to the outside of the left grounding through the outside of the right foot inhale side bend towards the left squeeze the right shoulder back and down your spine maybe gaze shifts over to the right one more inhale here on your exhale we'll float it back hands can come out to the sides to support the right leg comes around 
Inhale. Exhale, peel yourself open to half moon. Right hand and right foot flow back in space. Bring a little micro bend into the left knee as you hinge forward. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Find that sine pike motion in your upper body. Flex through your right foot. If you want, you can bring a block underneath your left hand. Maybe you want to take Chupasana, your half moon variation. Sorry, your half moon bind. We breathe. We're everywhere for four. Stepping to the back of the mat in three, two, on one step gracefully to the back of the mat and reposition yourself set up for warrior two legs. Parallel your back foot with the short edge of your mat. Look down for heel to heel or heel to arch alignment. Sink low, tuck the tailbone, maybe wiggle back and forth and then sink low, be here. Inhale to lengthen through the spine. Exhale, sink into your front knee. One more breath like that. Inhale, exhale, sink. Lower body stays exactly the same. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Left hand flows up and back. Maybe right arm reaches towards the back of the room. Inhale here. Exhale, extended side angle. Left tricep to the inside of the left thigh. Right arm sweeps overhead. Again, squeezing your shoulder blades together, opening through the chest. Breathing here for three, two, on one, inhale, reverse triangle, straighten through the left leg, reach back with your right hand, hips press towards the top of the mat. Inhale as you reach up and back. Exhale, come to parallel your arms. Bring your heels in, toes out. Sink low, find goddess pose. Shoulder stack over your hips. You reach your hands out to the side if you'd like. Take an inhale here. Exhale, sink. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, sink. One more time like that. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sink. Inhale, expand, open. Star pose. And then exhale, sink back to goddess. Come up on the ball of your right foot. We're going to turn the right knee into the top of the mat. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Take a big inhale here. Make a little micro bend in your back knee. Pull your shoulders back over. And then maybe start to press the soft spot of your right knee back. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, hands find the mat. Cat pyramid. Don't out through the shoulders. Hug your left heel in towards your face. You can be on the ball of your right foot. Hug the right hip forward. Take an inhale here. Exhale, three-legged dog. Left foot flows back in space. Inhale, hinge forward. Option to float your left leg. Lower down, chaturanga, knees or toes. Option to pause here. Maybe you hug your left heel in towards your glute. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Take an inhale here. Exhale, let it go. Come up onto your toes, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, step, hop, or fly. I don't know. Bring your feet to me, your hands. We meet there in five, four, three, two. On one, inhale, chair pose, hip sink, low fingertips, sweep high. Pause here. Pull your hips to the back of the room. Same thing here. You can bring your hands to your hips if you want to focus on your lower body first. Then start to float your fingertips up. Find your length. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, sink. One more breath like that. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands sweep towards the back of the room. Airplane arms activate through the triceps, driving through the right foot. Inhale, left knee drives towards the chest. In your single leg mountain pose, activate through your inner right thigh. Bring the right, uh, the left knee in line with the left hip. Take an inhale here. Exhale, standing figure four. Driving the left knee out to the side, flexing through the left foot. Inhale to lengthen through the spine. Exhale, sink. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, sink. One more breath like that. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, sink a little bit lower. On your inhale, we rise one leg about an option to extend through the left leg. Inhale here. Exhale, circle, sweep the left leg behind the right. Inhale, side bend towards the left, reaching, sorry, towards the right, reaching the left hand over. Exhale, sink into it. One more breath like this. Inhale. Exhale, pressing through your right foot. Inhale, left foot floats forward. 
Exhale, open up, half moon, peel yourself open. See if you can slow this down, reaching fingertips in opposite directions, activating through the left foot. If you want to bring a block or something underneath you on your right hand, you can maybe you take chupasana variation wherever you are breathing here for four, three, two, on one, stepping gracefully to the back of your mat. Inhale, warrior two. Sink low into your right heel. See if you can find a little bit more depth. Reaching hands out in opposite direction. Shift your gaze towards your front fingertips. Be in this space. Maybe it's a little bit uncomfortable, but trust yourself. You have the strength to be here. You've shown up for yourself for about 45 minutes. We don't have much left. Flip your palms up towards the ceiling. Inhale, reverse warrior. Kick it on up and back. Sink low into your right heel. One more inhale. Maybe you float your left hand forward. Exhale, extended side angle. Right tricep to the inside of the right thigh. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Open through the chest. Inhale here. Exhale, sink. Inhale, reverse triangle. Hips press forward. Right arm sweeps up and back. Open up. Exhale. We start to float high. Bring your heels in, send your knees out, sink low, goddess pose. This time in goddess, bring your hands to the tops of your thighs, take an inhale here, exhale, twist, dip the right shoulder, look left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, dip, twist the left towards the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale back to your center. Come up on the ball of your left foot. We're going to turn the left knee in, right foot forward. Inhale, crescent lunge. Drive through the back of your left heel. Maybe bring a little micro bend into the knee first and then focus on opening up. One more inhale here. Exhale, hands find the mat. Inhale, cat pyramid, doming out through the shoulders, maybe even flexing through the left, the right foot. You can, can be up on the ball of your left foot. Heel can be down. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, three-legged dog. Inhale, hinge forward, high plank. Option to float your foot, lower down chaturanga all the way to the mat. Option to hug your right heel in. Take an inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, press back downward facing dog. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, let it go. We're going to flow through this one breath to one movement. So option to grab some water or coffee, whatever you need, tea. And then we'll meet back in downward facing dog when you're ready. When you're ready, downward facing dog, we're going to flow this one breath to one movement. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, step or hop your feet to meet your hands. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Inhale, one legged mountain. Exhale, right foot sweeps around. Inhale, side bend towards the left. Exhale, come back towards center. Right foot sweeps around. Inhale to your one-legged mountain. Exhale, open up half moon. Inhale, find your balance here. Exhale, step back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, extended side angle. Exhale, reverse triangle. Inhale, come to a neutral spine, stack shoulders over hips. Exhale, sink low, goddess pose. Inhale, start to turn hips towards the front of the mat. High crescent lunge. Exhale, hands find the mat. Pull your left hip back in space, cat pyramid. Exhale, press into your hands, three-legged dog. Inhale, hinge forward, high plank. Option, take your version of chaturanga. Lower down, find it. Pull your left heel in. Maybe you turn your hips towards the left and you tap your left toes over. Inhale back to upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Coming up onto your toes, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, step or hop your feet to meet your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, melt it down. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Grounding through the right foot. Inhale, one legged mountain. Exhale, left foot sweeps around. 
inhale, side bend towards the right. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale, one legged mountain. Exhale, peel yourself open, half moon. Inhale, find your balance here. Exhale, step back. Warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, rise. Heels come in. Inhale here. Exhale, sink. Inhale, start to turn your left knee in. We come back high crescent lunge. Exhale, hands find the mat. Cat pyramid. Inhale, left foot sweeps up and back. Our right foot sweeps up and back. Inhale, hinge forward, high plank. Optional float the right foot, lower down chaturanga. Or maybe you hug your right heel and maybe tapping over towards the left side. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, press back downward facing dog. Inhale here. Exhale, let it go. One more breath like that. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, send it out. Lower your knees down to the mat and come to take a seat on your heels. So we're going to play around with today some side body opening. If you have a strap or a towel, feel free to grab that. But I want you to come to sit on your mat. Bring your left foot in towards your right leg. From here, I want you to keep your strap nearby. I'm going to take a side bend towards the left side. So bring your strap underneath the arch of your foot. Bring it into your right hand. Your left elbow is going to come down to the side and we're going to open up through the right side body. The strap I have is really short. You can even loop it around your foot, reaching the right hand back in space, opening through the back. We're here for three, two, on one. Gently remove the strap. We're going to turn this time your torso to face your left leg. So squaring your hips there. Your left leg is coming towards you. Take an inhale here. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, we rise, grounding through the right hand. Pressing the hips forward, joyful pose. Take up space, activate through the glutes. Exhale, drop it down. Okay. I want you to bring your right leg out to the side. I want you to bring your left hand underneath your right thigh. Inhale, start to sweep the left hand, right hand towards the ceiling. Exhale, gentle side bend towards the left. And maybe you grab for your left foot. Maybe you take that strap again and you bring it here, focusing on that opening. Breathing here for three. Two on one. We're going to switch this out. So this time the left foot comes in towards the right thigh. Bring the strap with you. Hook it underneath of your right foot. It's going to be in the left hand, reaching towards the right. Right elbow comes down. Inhale to peel the chest open. Exhale, twist. Inhale. Exhale, twist open. One more inhale here. Exhale, twist. Gently set the strap aside. Turn your torso to face the right leg. Take an inhale here. Exhale, gentle bend over your right leg. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to rise. Left hand finds the ground. Joyful pose, hips press forward, open up through the right side body. Exhale, lower down. So nice. Send your left foot out to the side. This time, right hand comes underneath the left thigh. Inhale, left arm sweeps over, maybe reaching for the right foot or grabbing for your strap. This might be a shoestring. Opening up, take a big inhale here. Exhale, twist. One more like that, inhale, exhale, twist. Amazing, okay. I'm gonna play around as a closing peak posture with compass pose. So 
and some variations. I want you to grab your strap or towel. I can demo this to you with a t-shirt. Um, a long sleeve t-shirt is great. I want you to bring your right or your left leg in, left leg out, right leg in. And I want you to reach for your left toes. And we're going to take a half happy baby in a seated position. And maybe you stay here. If this doesn't feel good, you can use the strap to bring your foot closer to you and focus on it that way. And then from here, option to stay here, or you're going to bring the sole of your left foot into the crook of your right elbow or to your tricep and take the same kind of rocking baby motions here. As you do this, try to keep your spine really lengthened. So you'll see it's kind of a natural inclination to bow forward. See if you can pull it up really active through the core. Breathing here for three, two, on one. Okay. Here's my mini strap. From here, options. Option options. We're going to take your left foot, and I want you to think about backpacking your left thigh on the back of your left tricep. Options to use a strap, or you can use your hand. I'm going to demo with the strap first. You're going to reach your left fingertips through, reach your left leg out to the side, active through the left leg. And this is your variation on compass opening through the right side body with the strap. If you want to reach for the outside of your left foot with the right hand, you're going to extend through the left leg. Left hand reaches out to the side. And here we are breathing wherever you are for four. So you're going to pull your right shoulder back in space here for three, two, on one, come back down, close it down. Just take a comfy seat for a moment. Gentle twist towards the right. One more like that, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. All right, right side. Bringing the left, right foot up, left foot in. Taking that half happy baby. Option again to use a strap shirt, towel, and then option to bring the sole of your right foot in towards your left bicep, taking the same cradle motion. And if today you're like, compass is not for me, that's totally cool. Hang out, do these uh, prep postures. They work wonders. The goal is not the posture as a destination. It's more about the process. So breathe here. Option to stay here, or we want you to thread your right and underneath, think about backpacking your right thigh up on the right tricep. Option to use a strap looped around the right leg. If you have a strap, the strap needs to be completely straight. Reaching the left fingertips, right fingertips out to the side, left fingertips on the outside of your right foot or a strap. Start to pull your leg up in space. If you have your hand in front, I want you to try to pull your left arm behind you, reaching your left foot up towards the ceiling. If you have the strap, strap comes behind your head. We breathe here. We are here for four, three, two, on one, gently close it down, come to the comfortable seat. So you can inhale here, tall through the spine, exhale, gentle twist towards the left. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, twist. One more inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Gently come back towards center. I want you to sit with your leg up towards the ceiling. Hands come behind you. Take a few rocks through your hips, side to side, sending your knees to the side. Options before we meet down on our backs. So we're going to take an inversion. So some options today. If you've had enough activity, you're like, I'm good. Come down to your back. Take legs up the wall. Maybe you want to bring a pillow underneath your hips. That can feel really nice or take supported bridge. If you have another inversion in your practice, maybe supported headstand or pincha, or if you want a really active dolphin, feel free to go there. We're going to breathe in your inversion. So legs up in any way. We will be here together for eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, on one, slowly start to lower down. Be gentle with yourself if you had yourself in a more active inversion and then start to lower down onto your back. 
I'm gonna pause for a moment on your elbows. So if you're in with your back laying down, sit up for a moment and then lower down on trebles, extend through the legs for supported fish pose. Elbows underneath your shoulders, opening through the chest, allow your head and neck to fall back behind you. Take an inhale here. Uh, exhale, head and neck fall back. One more inhale like that, fill up. Uh, exhale, head falls back. Gently start to walk your elbows out to the side. Lower all the way down onto your mat. Take a big overhead stretch. Exhale, hug your knees up towards you. Option here for double wind removing pose or half happy or happy baby. Happy baby, grab for the outside edges of your feet. If you find your tailbone reaching up off the mat, grab for behind your thighs. The goal of this is to be really grounded through the spine. Breathing here for four, three, two, on one, hug your knees in towards your chest. Start to wrap your elbows around your knees. Tuck your chin and take a big inhale. Exhale, expand to Shavasana. You're welcome to stay in Shavasana for as long as you need. That's the beauty of a home practice. Allow yourself to be relaxed, to be soft, relax your jaw. Allow your tongue to fall away from the roof of your mouth. I'll close us out, leaving you here in Shavasana. Option to bring your hands to heart center. Take an exhale here. Inhale, breathe in. Exhale, release. Sealing in your intention. Draw your hands to third eye center. And I bow to you saying, Loka, Samasta, Suki, No, Bhavantu. May all beings be happy and free. And may my thoughts, words, and actions contribute to that happiness and freedom. Thank you for sharing up for yourself, for sharing your practice with me. Namaste.